with me to go. Yeah. And now, let me give that uh, font size. Yeah, here it is, font size. That is ten hundred percent. Yeah, this is the hundred percent that it needs. Let me give. Yeah, see, compared to the previous one, uh, here the font size increases. This is uh, what the font size uh, property means. Means if at all, if you want to increase your or else if you want to decrease your font size uh, compared to the default one, then you then you can use this font size property. Okay, you can give any like font size 200 percent, 10 percent, even uh, 30 percent, 50 percent, 500 percent, 1000 percent. It's all about your wish. Okay, and followed by what is the CSS font family? I have explained that generally we have this uh, this font family is divided into two types. That is generic family and font family. I'm gonna let me give font family bonus. Serif. Yeah, this is uh, see compared to the previous one, you can uh, clearly see the difference between serif and the mono space. Uh, like in in uh, in some websites, uh, you can see the, the uh, some content is in this type. Like you see, you can clearly see that see that the font family. Okay, this is how you can you can use this font family property, and followed by we have another property that is. Uh, That is font color. Let me give here. I have declared that it. Let me give H1 here. Uh, font color. Font color red. You can clearly see the difference between uh, this, I mean, H1, H1 uh, H tag and the uh, P tag. Here I gave that the font color that is blue uh, for this, uh, uh, for paragraph tag, I gave that uh, font color that is red. So this is how you can change the font colors, okay? Uh, like uh, you can uh, watch that some in some website, some content is in generally black color, some content in red color, some important content in yellow color. Actually, all those things can happen by using this uh, color format, font color format only. Okay. And followed by we have another font property. That is font style. Uh, the I mean uh, this font style property generally defines this type of the font uh, that you want to display that like it is it may be uh, italic or uh, normal. Let me let me give here. I want to font style. Sorry, that is italic. See. 
uh, we got uh, this content in, in the italic form this is how you can use this font style okay uh, this generally this font style i mean font style properties defines this what type of uh, font that you want to display in your website uh, it may be anything like oblique italic bold normal it's your wish it's depend on your wish like in some websites uh, you can see that some content is in normal um, uh, like normal format but some content is in uh, italic format like even see if you see some quotes generally quotes written in a uh, italic form it okay uh, this is how you can use this uh, font style property and followed by we have another property that is in a um, css font variant uh, this font variant property uh, specifies how to set the font variant option a element okay it may be uh, normal or it may be small caps let me let me give sorry font variant here it is see uh, we got uh, it uh, we got everything in a capsule letter okay here i gave that it is uh, i just want to print all content in, in small caps format so uh, our content is printed in a small caps uh, format this is how you can use this font variant format okay this font variant property specifies how to set from a variant of an element okay uh, like it may be generally you can even print your content in a normal also let me delete this small caps let me give normal see we got our content in a normal format this is uh, what this font variant property means okay and followed by we have another property that is font weight uh, like uh, this font weight uh, i have explained that this generally defines the weight of this font okay uh, like it specifies that how uh, how bold a font it is uh, is gen if this font is generally used when uh, when you want when you want to uh, i mean highlight your content like when, when you want to mention uh, your content that that particular content is specially very important then you can use this font weight property okay let me give font weight all that when you can give uh, numbers also compared to the previous one uh, uh, this font weight um, actually slightly changed compared to the previous one this is what this font size means let me give here um 1000 see uh, compared to the previous one it uh, becomes uh, somewhat brighter like somewhat bold this is what this font weight uh, property means okay uh, this font weight property generally used when you want to uh, mention some content especially uh, like uh, some uh, if you want to main, uh, if you want to make your content more bold and bold then you can use this font weight property even you can uh, make your content lighter also like by using here i gave bold uh, instead of bold you can give lighter uh, or else you can decrease your numbers like here i gave 1000 uh, if you give 100 see uh, the boldness the weight is decreased uh, compared to the previous one this is uh, how you can use this font weight property okay this is all about the font style properties uh, like uh, color font family font size uh, font style font variant and font uh, weight now uh, uh, after this 
I have already explained what is the CSS colors like the CSS colors property uh, is generally used to set the color of this uh, HTML elements. I have explained all the formats like RGB format, RGBA format. Uh, HSL, HSL, a built-in color, uh, like uh, built-in color means uh, here we have to use the names. We don't need to, you, we don't need to specify any numbers or any percentages, everything. Here uh, in built-in, uh, built-in means you just, you have to mention your names like red, blue, green, yellow. That's your wish, okay? Let me... instead of zero 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 ff oh zero, zero means blue actually zero zero eight triple zero sorry See here I got the content in the green color means here I have uh, mentioned this color property in a hexadecimal value I have already explained what is this hexadecimal value means if at all if you want to mention any color in the hexadecimal format uh, you have to start with the hash see here I have started with the hash okay this is how you can use these hexadecimal values and followed by we have another uh, format that is uh, RGB format in uh, let me give RGB of 255 0 0 okay see today I got the color in the red color format means 255 0 0 means red color let me give 255 16 165 sorry guys it's running here One second. Sanjeev, sir. Um, I'm sorry, guys. It is raining here. I will explain all this concept by tomorrow. Like, I, will, I just want to take uh, two to three hours. You can leave now.